Well, it's time to do the mixing video. Sorry it took so long to get this out. I know you guys have had a lot of questions about the actual mix and the process of making the concrete. Um, I'd hoped to do it last week when my kids were off for Thanksgiving, but it rained all week, so that's out. So I'll do the best I can with the tripod today. Um, the mix itself is really simple. It's just one part Portland cement to three parts sand. Um, I get the sand at the local dirt yard. It's just white sand. Some call it mortar sand, some call it play sand. It's, it's just a big pile of white sand. Um, the Portland I get at Lowe's. comes in 92 pound bags. Uh, I think it's like $10 a bag. I do a third bucket. I have the bucket marked with a uh, one by two on either side so I can see where the third, uh, third of a bucket is. Uh, to uh, basically a whole bucket of sand. I do half buckets at a time just because it seems easier throwing a half bucket in there. Um, that's pretty much it. The water itself, you just kind of have to eyeball that. Uh, it all depends on how wet your sand is, the density of the sand, a whole bunch of different little factors. So you just eyeball the water. There's no, there's no dead set amount of water that you're going to add. Um, you can do it in a wheelbarrow. I do it in a mixer. If you can afford a mixer, get a mixer. Otherwise, it's the same ratio in a wheelbarrow. It's just a little more work. Uh, if you're doing an area this large, I suggest saving up and get a mixer. Just save up and get a mixer. Um, and then if you ever need a slab or anything poured, you've got it. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and uh, do the best I can with that. And I'll go ahead and mix up some cement and then come back to you whenever uh, I can show you how basically how thick the mix is. I think that's where a lot of people are getting, getting in trouble. They're adding too much water. So anyways, let's see how this works out. Mixer, this won't make any difference to you, but if you are using a mixer, this is what I like it to look like when it comes out. This is packable, but it's still wet. You can still see water on the edge, and it's but it holds its shape, it doesn't just flow. But when you squish it down, this has always been the key. See how it's got that wiggle to it, kind of like jello or a waterbed. So you can still see, even though it looked dry. It's got a lot of water content. It's just dry enough to uh, hold its shape and, and grab onto itself so that it doesn't just slide down the side. All right, now when I apply it, I don't use a shovel or anything. I just kind of put it on with my hands, thus the big heavy blue gloves. Um, that way I can kind of guesstimate how thick it's going on. Um, so I usually just start by tossing it onto the structure of the base and work my way down the uh, the concrete has a bit of cohesion to it it'll really grab onto itself so when you're going up verticals and stuff or undercuts or anything like that if you can get it to grab onto concrete above it it'll tend to hang on to the ledge as long as it's not too wet It's all covered in concrete. It took about three mixes to do. I'll give it about 20 more minutes to uh, harden up before I carve it. I think the next video I'm going to go more in depth in how I carve it, uh, not do a time lapse, and uh, kind of show the tools and the techniques I use to carve it to give it the, the rough texture. But uh, basically it's done. You can kind of see the rock coming out. Once I go over it with the trowel, it'll really begin to look more like a rock and less like a pile of uh, packed down concrete. But anyways, if you have any questions about the mix ratios or anything, feel free to put them down in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas for the track, uh, put those down in the comments. And I appreciate you watching, and I uh, hope, hope I've helped you out with the uh, 
any questions you had and hope I've answered them all. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.